Hey YouTube, Kodandi here. Oops. So, the other day I was just walking by, walking through campus. This is on the road up to the Kalabayrava Temple, the front gate. And I noticed this plant behind me. And I'm like, wait a minute, is that what I think it is? And I go over, and yes, it is what I think it is. It is Jimson weed. This is a plant that drove me crazy. It grew in my garden and it was just terrible. And I hated it and I dug it out and that was that. Um, but there's another thing about this plant. It, it's a detora. It comes from the detora family and it is a plant that is peacock just flew by. That is so cool. Wild peacock just flew by. Now I know what's been making all that noise. Um, but anyway, this plant, it's, it's not just jimson weed, it's detora. And it is a plant that is sacred to Shiva. And it is also a plant that is so, so, so poisonous. And it is a plant that people use to trip. <laughs> and People are always like trying to, when I say like, you don't need psychedelics, you don't need whatever, people always argue, but you know, all of these psychedelic plants are sacred to Shiva and you know, all of these intoxicants are sacred to Shiva and what about Soma and what about cannabis and what about that place where they offer alcohol and blah, 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 on and on and on. And it's, um, you know, if people have already decided that they want to use whatever substance and are just looking for a reason to justify it, like, don't, don't even come to me. And because I'm not going to support your justifications and I'm not going to give you permission to do these things and I don't care anyway, so just go away. But the interesting thing about this plant and other toxic plants and intoxicants that are sacred to Shiva is that Shiva has this ability to take poisons and not be harmed or affected by it. That there's this story about the churning of the milky ocean where all of the, the, the beings from above and the beings from below, all of the deities and all of the different types of beings come together because they all want to get this sacred elixir, Amrita, out of the milky ocean but they have to churn it and they go through this whole thing and all sorts of cool stuff starts coming out of the milky ocean like Lakshmi the goddess Lakshmi that's when she emerges from the ocean all sorts of other stuff including the Amrita the divine nectar um, but also what comes out is a poison and this poison is so powerful so strong that it will destroy the earth and so Shiva like swallows it and so she grabs his throat so that it will not go down so that it will stay in his throat and so that his throat becomes blue because of that um, and so sometimes you'll see images of Shiva with a blue throat or you'll he'll hear him called Nilakanth Nilakanth literally means blue throat and so that is that that Shiva is the deity that can take toxic things without being harmed. And, you know, many, many things that are toxic will also get you high and you will trip from them because that is your body freaking out and your brain cells like dying and going crazy and you poisoning yourself and you're hallucinating because you're like dying. And then you wake up with a terrible hangover and because your body is full of all this like toxic garbage that it's trying to get rid of. Like that's how intoxicants work. That is how alcohol works. Like your body freaks out because it's being poisoned and then you wake up and you have a hangover and you're because your body is still trying to get rid of all the toxic garbage you put in it. This is not a good thing. If you are having these kinds of effects, you cannot take toxics you cannot take toxins and poisons into your system because you are being harmed. You are not Lord Shiva. <laughs> he can take these things and not be harmed. And 
You know, even when you get to the high spiritual levels, you'll see these advanced yogis that can, you know, take poisons, that can smoke a lot of hash and have no effect. In fact, if, if we're talking about cannabis, cannabis is not an intoxicant or um, a narcotic. It does not have a toxic effect. It, it is um, not an opiate, so it's not a narcotic. Um, but when you see the sadhus and the babas and the holy people using cannabis, it is because they're in such an elevated state and they want to come down, okay? Like, you all get excited because pot gets you high. For these people, your high is coming down for them. Your high is a step down where they are trying to come back to, you know, whatever. If they want to come down, they smoke pot to come down. Like, they're at such an elevated level. And if you are not at such an elevated level, then you're smoking pot to get high and not to help you come down. But back to the intoxicants, you will see, you know, advanced yogis that can take poisons without effect. You can see, you know, they can drink alcohol with no effect. Neem Karoli Baba um, had his Western follower Ram Das gave him like some stupid amount of LSD, some like whole sheet of LSD or something, and he took it in the middle of like he was giving a satsang or some presentation. No effect. And he said it was useless. He said it was garbage. He was in such an advanced spiritual state that even that quantity of LSD could not affect him, had no effect, that he was so beyond that kind of, you know, body chemistry experience. And so that, that is what's going on, you know? These things are sacred to Shiva, not because Shiva's like, oh yeah, let's all get, you know, whatever. They're sacred to Shiva because he's the only one that can take toxins without being harmed. So that, that is my story. That is what I have to say. Um, don't, I mean, if you want to justify using drugs or substances or whatever, like, I don't care, don't involve me, you don't need my permission, um, hopefully this gets you thinking about, you know, spirituality and these substances, and hopefully you will choose to um, pursue a more spiritual path and not a chemical stimulation poisoning your body path. I hope that's the decision you come to. Okay, Nithinandam.